Hey, this is Bob with Bob CNC, and we're doing some videos on how to write G-code by hand, or at least how to troubleshoot G-code. So uh, Keith is wanting to learn this so that he can do a project, and uh, I just have to give a shout out to Caleb. His grandpa is a YouTuber, so isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't understand how awesome it is. Yeah, the power of Okay, YouTube. so anyway. Okay. So uh, we've gone over some coordinate systems, we've gone over some of the header files, some of the spindle on, spindle off, and today we're just kind of going to do a brief overview of some G codes, and then I think in the next video, we're actually going to help Keith out by helping him get started on his project. And what was your project again? Well, what I want to do is I want to take a 4 by 8 sheet of uh, MDF, 3 quarter inch, and I want to route some recesses in it so that I can set a router plate and just have a really nice clean looking cable that's got two routers because I need them to uh, process floorboards here. Okay, so this is actually a project for work, so that's pretty good. All right, so hey, let's go ahead and get started with this. So uh, we're going to just cover uh, actually two commands today. They're both linear movements, but they do they are different, okay? And then uh, we'll kind of just walk through maybe an example of something so that you can see that. Okay, so the first one you're going to find maybe in a G code file if you open it up is a G0. I should do this because it doesn't say go. <laughs> you're right, it's a G0. It's not a GO. If you type in GO, you will not get the same results. No. And we know that because we've done that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so a G0 is a rapid movement command. Your machine, no matter what kind of CNC machine it is, has a file somewhere that tells it all these parameters, and one of those parameters is, is how fast can I move? When you type in a G0, your machine is going to accelerate up to that speed and stay there until it, it, it is done with the move. So if I'm going to use the G0, I can't have my bit working in the material. No, it's definitely not meant for cutting. It's a move around to the table. So if you were making a circle, you have to get to the part where the circle starts. You want to raise your bit, zip over there, rapid movement. Okay. And then you put the move. The next one is a G1. Same exact thing, linear move, except for it has a feed rate. So it has the F word in it, right? And the F is going to define it based on your units. Remember G20 or G21. So if it's in uh, G20, it's going to be inches per minute. And if it's in millimeters, it's going to be millimeters per minute. And there's like a huge difference, like 25.4 times difference. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. I don't want to chase a rabbit or take you someplace you don't want to go. But how do I determine my feed rate? Like if I'm cutting poplar, or I'm cutting ironwood, or I'm cutting something else? Well, the good news is, is wood is really forgiving. Uh, there is definitely an optimal feed rate, and we can go over those calculations, but uh, depending on your RPM that you have set, if you have a set RPM, I mean our DeWalt runs at uh, 30,000 RPMs, you can buy a speed controller to slow that down, and, and some folks have done that, because it's really actually uh, a little fast, but for smaller bits, it's, 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 it's not so bad. But there's a speeds and feeds calculator depending on, but again, what we recommend for getting started, and if you're an experienced guy, uh, you're gonna cheat these, right? You're gonna change them. But just to get started, if you're new to CNC and you've purchased your E3 or E4, right, or, or, or router from us, then you're gonna wanna start at about 20 to 25 inches per minute, right? If you're in, in inches per minute, right? Or about, oh, whatever that is in millimeters, I should have figured that out before. 25 times more than that for a millimeter, <laughs> right? For our, uh, our plunge rate, and that's really just the Z, we wanna be eight to 10. And the reason why is, is we have a threaded drive at this time, and what that means is it can't move that fast. So the max speed is about 20 inches per minute on our Z. However, at your maximum speed, your stepper motors don't have as much torque. A stepper motor actually has more torque when it's going slow. So we want to keep that 8 to 10 so that we don't miss steps, right? So our plunge rate, 8 to 10, getting started, and our feed rate, uh, X, Y moves, is about 20 to 25. And then uh, while we're on that subject, our, our depth of cut. Uh, if you're using an 8 inch bit, it should be somewhere around 0 0.08 inches max per pass. If you're using like our production machine when you do your uh, your project, yeah. you can cut out the whole three quarters of an inch, but I would still recommend 
that you go uh, the diameter of the bit. So if you're using the eighth inch bit, mm -hmm. using the eighth inch pass. And you know this for because you make our spoil boards, right. is we actually cut our half inch spoil boards one pass, right? But we've done the, the calculations to make that work. Right. Okay? okay. So with these commands, you're going to have some parameters X, Y, Z, and F, right? This is the coordinate system and how far you're moving. So when you say G1, you have to tell it, okay, you want to move a at a feed rate, but where do you want to move? I want to move this far in the X, this far in the Y, and this far in the Z. Okay, so I've uh, got us a short example here that we can just kind of cover to show what the G0 and, or, and the G1 mean. So uh, okay. I'll go ahead and get started up here. So we have the uh, G90 and the G17 and 20, which are all a part of the header, which really just means that they're at the beginning of the file. If this is confusing for you, we have a video that was done before this that you might want to review so you can get those. But this is absolute uh, movement, and G17 is in the XY plane, and then G20 means that we're doing it in inches, right? Okay. So from there, uh, I normally put a G0, which is our rapid movement, to uh, go ahead and do, uh, to know where my machine's at, right? So I'm saying X0, Y0, Z0. That's where I want you to move if you're not. How is that different than a home? Okay, so homing is different. So in, in this uh, uh, this G code file, we would assume that you've already homed your machine, that you've jogged into position, and you've re-zeroed all your axes, and then this will match up, right? Okay, so it, theoretically speaking, let's say this is this is my uh, my work area here. I'm, where am I homing? I'm actually homing down here. This would be where my machine is mm -hmm. by itself. So I could make this X0, Y0, Z0 anywhere here. Absolutely. Right. And that's what you're doing. When you home the machine, you're driving to a machine location so that the computer knows where the machine is. Okay. And then once you actually move into position and re-zero everything, you're actually talking about G coordinate, G code coordinate systems, which is what we're using here. Oh, good. Okay. okay. So then uh, we, we say that we're on the workpiece now, and that's zero. So the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, get the uh, bit out of the work. So most of the time you'll see a Z up, and this is normally referred to as your Z safe, right? Okay. Notice that it's actually it's a G zero movement, it's rapid, because I'm not in the work, I'm pulling out of the work, right? Okay. All right, so next uh, I have a G1, which this is the command that we need a X, Y, Z, and also a feed rate. A feed rate is important. If it doesn't have a feed rate, it won't know how fast to go. Okay, sorry. You didn't mean to back up. Just dumb. G0, Z, I'm telling it, I wanted to go up 8 tenths of an inch. 0.8 inches up. Okay. A little over 3 quarters of an inch. Oh, okay, 0.8. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're going up that high, and then you're stepping in. That gets your bit out of the work. Right. This actually could be 0.1, 0 0.05. If you have a really flat surface, 0 0.001, you could just go up a thousand. Okay. But for the most part, you want to make sure that you're up enough to get over your clamps. If your 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 rapid movement is going to be taking you across the clamp, right, right, or to get out of the workpiece. So that's okay. up. The next line is we're actually going to move into a place where we want to start cutting. So it's it, it needs to uh, actually. I take that back. I'm going to change this to zero. Also, it's a good catch. Right. So. Uh, this is a zero also because we just move there as fast as we want because we're out of the work, right? Okay. So G0, X1, Y1, no feed rate. It's going to go as fast as your machine will go. Okay. Okay? The next line then is your G1, and that's your controlled uh, uh, feed rate, right? So we're saying G1, we want to go to minus 0.1, and we want to go at 8 inches per minute, which is fairly slow. Okay. Now, once we get there, that's going to put our work, uh, our bit, 0 0.01 inches in into the, the wood. In the material. And then, of course, we would want to move, say, to X5 uh, at a little bit faster feed rate, F20, and then G1, Y5. And you, do, and you do not have to continue the feed rate. It will always go with the last one that it had. Okay. Okay? So, again, linear moves. G0, we want to move fast as we can. It's, it's in between the cuttings. If you're cutting a big square and a little square, you're going to have to get the bit up before you move from one square to the other. G1 are linear moves when you are cutting. And with those commands, right, and maybe another uh, for ending the program, we ought to be able to write your uh, program. 
So maybe we'll do that on the next video. Bob's a man of faith. Till next time, we'll see you. Thanks.